You're about to get a confidential sneak preview of some really incredible graphics soon to be announced by Silicon Graphics. Let me tell you, it blew my socks off when I first saw it. So hang on to yours. You know, the core of what Silicon Graphics has always been about is real-time 3D computing. Uh, and, and to me, Express Graphics kind of strikes right at the core and brings that type of computing that we've always been the pioneer of or have been considered to be the pioneer of in, in modern times uh, uh, to the desktop. So real-time 3D computing on the desktop is, is the kind of thing that SGI ha is going to be known for henceforth, and uh, we're really excited about it. Here's this incredibly powerful incredibly realistic uh, graphics visualization system in a, in a box that, that's got a footprint less than a Macintosh. And I think the, the impact that that will have on people just looking at it and seeing the screen and seeing what it can do will be absolutely stunning. And already, you know, we've, we've, when we've shown it to people, they've, they just cannot believe that you can put that kind of capability into such a small box. Formerly, Silicon Graphics wasn't really positioned in the desktop workstation market prior to Indigo. Indigo got us on the desktop. This gives you real-time, interactive GTX performance on the desktop. So it's, it's a, obviously, no one else can do this. We set out with very high performance objectives, yet we need it to keep cost under control. And so the only way to do that, really, was to resort to very high levels of integration. There are several very complex integrated circuits, um, custom integrated circuits, uh, in the Express architecture. They range anywhere from 50 to 100,000 gates. They're running at very high clock rates. Things are very highly pipelined. Multiple data paths executing in parallel, talking to highly interleaved memory structures. All of these combined produce a very high performance, yet very cost-effective system. So what is Express? Um, basically, Express is a new graphics subsystem for both the Indigo and the personal iris chassis. It supports 1280 by 1024 resolution, either 8-bit or 24-bit color, an optional Z buffer, and is scalable from about turbo graphics level performance all the way up to about four times turbo graphics. Express is capable of supporting the 72 hertz refresh rates, which is a critical emerging need in uh, Europe. Express also supports a really rich set of graphics features. Um, it supports all of the features we currently have on the personal iris uh, graphics systems. Plus it supports a really rich set of uh, the VGX graphics features, similar to what we've done with the Indigo. Things like uh, fog and haze and texture mapping and uh, anti-aliasing and uh, all of the features that really are necessary and critical to getting the most realistic rendered images possible. We've got a neat new machine to show you from ESD Engineering. It's a great machine to use. Let's take a look at some demos. Here we are flying through a model, actually doing a walkthrough through an architectural structure. The graphics system is using a combination of its own performance to draw the polygons for each frame as we walk through this building and get the feeling of smooth, fluid motion. You can also see the radiosity effects which are pre-computed on the CPU and combined with the graphics power to give us a feeling of smooth motion through this building. There are many polygons drawn in this model. We see the real-time lighting and shading as the model turns. We can get a feel for the high level of interactivity that is supported by our high-performance desktop graphics system. We're watching another very good example of the visual realism that we get from Express Graphics. Here we're seeing the effects of the balanced architecture of our workstation with the high-performance CPU able to do the deformation calculations on the sheet while the very fast graphics system is able to draw this in real time. This is an excellent example of how the high-performance desktop graphics can be used by scientists who want to interact with their models. 
This level of graphics allows the user to work as fast as he or she can think, no longer limited by the performance of the graphics hardware. The alpha blending allows us to manipulate the intensity of pixels, allowing us to show the blurring of the image as it's moved across the screen. We now have brought RGB anti-alias lines to the desktop. This is a complex wireframe model with the drawing speed of express graphics up to 1 million 3D vectors per second, we're able to see the realism and smooth motion of this interactive model. What I'm holding here is an express graphics board. We've achieved architectural advantage through integration with this product. We've got 25 separate gate arrays on this board, seven separate designs, seven separate custom designs. If you add up all the gates, they add up to over 700,000. I'd like to compare that to a PI, which is less than 50,000. We've designed our own custom geometry engines, floating point engines. They're in a SIMD architecture, four of them on a board. We've got our own custom raster engine. Uh, this, this board fits into both the Indigo and the PI product line. Uh, what I'm holding here is an 8-bit plane system. Uh, we can actually upgrade that to 24-bit planes simply by putting a couple in here, a couple of little bit plane boards. Now I'm at a 24-bit plane system. Now I can also add a Z-buffer. Ends up right up here. I've got a fully configured Express system. This, you know, this has interactive realism like you've never seen before. But that's really what it's all about at SGI. Um, we really believe that uh, interactive 3D color graphics are a critical piece of technology to the future of computing. And uh, we, want to, we think this technology will become more and more affordable and we can make it more and more accessible to every, uh, every computing user. By the way, has anyone seen Ed's socks? <laughs>